Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Jay Quinzel. It's another beautiful but hot day, and it's time for another toy hunt. This time, we're going to do things uh, as in our usual order. We're going to go to Walmart first in um, Southgate. Then we're going to go to uh, Five Below in Southgate. Then we're going to go to Target in Southgate. And from there, we're going to go to uh, Downey in Norwalk and do similar stores there as well. What we're hunting for, we're hunting for Darius of the Chaos Theory Packs. I'm not looking for the big pack. I'm looking for the little pack. I think I missed out on that last week. So I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers that I can run into it this week. That would be great. But uh, I'm also excited to see what else we can find on this hunt. So let's head on to Walmart and see what we got. First off on the tour, we got Walmart and Southgate. I, I tend to find Chaos Theories figures here often. So... I'm crossing my fingers that we'll find some new ones here. All right, we're at the Chaos or Jurassic World dial. I just want to check out this Fred Flintstone penguin. I thought it was really cute. I don't know what to deal with these penguins. Might be a part of a series. There's a lot of people here today. But let's move on, moving on, moving on. Oh, they did restock. They did restock on Chaos Theory. Sorry about that. There was somebody else behind me. Uh, so they have the Gallimimus, which I might pick up this time. They got Poposaurus, Velociraptor, ooh, Lystrosaurus, that's his name. I couldn't figure out the name, it was Lystrosaurus. And then they have the Bahadasaurus, this one's cool looking. Got a little whip action on the tail, got these spikes on it. Oh, this one looks cool. I like the way this one looks. Underneath we have the Majungasaurus Major, so they did restock, this is cool. I'm gonna pick up a couple of these figures. Last time I picked up the baby Apatosaurus, so I'm not getting that this time. I'm getting the Lystrosaurus probably. And I might get the Gallimimus. I'm still gonna think about it, but from here, let's head on over to Five Below. Hopefully they got some captives. So just a quick recap. I just got back from uh, Walmart in Southgate. We found a bunch of Chaos Theory figures. I picked up three. I picked up the Gallimimus and then the two-pack with the Lystrosaurus and the other dinosaur, I forgot what it was called. Uh, I also wanted to create this follow-up video, this uh, recap, because I just went on Instagram and they have a new SDCC exclusive for Jurassic World. It's uh, Jimmy Buffett with the margaritas from the first movie, the first Jurassic World movie. It has that Morphodon flying around them. It looks kind of cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it though, because I'm not a Jimmy Buffett fan. I never listened to his music. But it is a cool looking figure, so and I'm going to SDCC, so I may end up picking it up. I'm not sure though. I think I'm leaning towards maybe yes, maybe yes, picking it up. With all that said, we're gonna take a look at those toys when we get back the Lysosaurus and the Gallimimus. We'll take a look at it when we get back. I did say last time that I wasn't gonna get the Gallimimus because of money issues. Well, I did happen to realize that I have a little bit more money than I thought, so that's why I picked up the Gallimimus this time. I was a little bit regretful that I did not pick it up last time, so I'm glad I picked it up this time. Now, enough yapping, and let's get to Five Below. All right, second stop on the tour. We got Five Below in Southgate, looking for the Chaos Theory captives. I found some generic captives before, but I have not seen Chaos Theory ones, so hopefully this Five Below has them. As usual, they have their giant wall of pops. They got some uh, it popsies come play. Interesting. But here is the aisle we're looking for. The toy aisle. On this side, we have ourselves the Funko. Do so they still have Alan Grant sodas? Oh, they still have the other three. So nobody's picked these up, huh? So the chase may be in there. Down here, we got Colder Cuties, Turtles, some dinosaur stuff, but not Jurassic. Squishmallows. Yeah, I'm not seeing any uh, captives here at this five below. Let's go to the other side real quick. Maybe they're on the other side. Lawn darts. Now they made them with balls. The lawn darts used to be very dangerous. And on this side, absolutely nothing of interest. So, yeah, the bot bag. That's not cool. All right, let's head on over to Target in uh, Southgate. I don't know why I keep wanting to call this place Norwalk, but we are at the Southgate Target, hunting for Chaos Theory. Uh, hopefully, they got something. Um, I'm, I'm so excited about uh, what we found at Walmart. That was cool. As I always like to mention, there are two sections in this uh, Target. 
or Jurassic World or this section, which is the general section. They got Ben on sale. 21, 24. And then they have a dedicated Chaos 3 section we're going to visit real quick. Just want to see if they have anything here. But nothing here seems new. A lot of this seems like the things we've seen before. So let's move to the Chaos Theory section. Move over here. What do we got on this side? We got ourselves Echospinax, Indominus, the Super Colossal Allosaurus. On this side, we got the big packs of Ben and Darius. Hmm. And then we got Allosaurus, some Hammond collection, a giant, uh, shoot. I know this Pokemon. Clefairy? Clefairy? Is it Clefairy? What does it say? It is Clefairy. I know my Pokemon. All right. So not really have much in terms of Chaos Theory here, but there's still other stores to go to, so don't lose hope. Halfway done with the tour, we're at Walmart in Downey. Um, this one doesn't restock that often, so I'm not sure we're going to find anything here. Plus, it has a dreaded glass, but let's just head inside and stop complaining. In Walmart, they seem to have moved some figures around, like the camouflage and bottle battle Indominus is here. They have the Kaliskas, uh, Poposaurus back there. Gigantospinosaurus here. Kratosaurus, Atrociraptors. So I got quite a few here that are not Chaos Theory, but uh, yeah, it's unusual how they're out of their location, their usual location. Here's the aisle where they usually have the Jurassic World toys. And they are up here on my left. I'm not seeing any Chaos Theory at all. A Lots of uh, old stuff. The Atrociraptor we saw earlier. I'm not sure what's up with this Walmart. They used to have stock. They used to restock quite often. Now they don't seem to be re restocking. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on with this Walmart. They do have that Chaos Theory Atrociraptor mask. That nobody seems to be buying. This Mosasaurus that nobody seems to be buying. But that seems to be it. Well then. This is a 5 below and down here right next to uh, the Walmart I got out of. Uh, looking for Jurassic World captives. Do they have any? Are they even out? I'm not sure. Toy Monster hasn't posted anything uh, pre prior to coming here. Oh look. They're multiplying. Now there's two $5 Claire's. If you're looking for a Claire Deering uh, Jurassic World Dominion Funko Mini, come to this uh, Five Below in, uh, in Downey. You will find them. They're not selling. <laughs> they seem to have more tubs. They have a Minion now. A little Minion tub. Take a look at it. Stuart. And then they have some Stay Puff, Grinch, Jaws. I don't think there's a Jurassic one of these, unfortunately. Down here, I'm not seeing any captive displays. Um, yeah, I don't think they have any here. What are these? Weird. I want to take a look at this. Zodiac Unicorn. Is this my Zodiac? I don't know. Doesn't say on the side. Anyways, that seems to be it for Five Below. Hmm. I'm not sure what's the deal with the captives. When are they coming out? Where are they coming out? I've been tuning into uh, Toy Monster and they haven't stated in their little post. So maybe I'm overlooking things and I missed out on, uh, on their post. Or maybe they just aren't here yet. Or maybe I'm at the wrong store. Hey, I have no idea what's going on with Downey. The Walmart in Downey, it has like zero Jurassic World Chaos Theory stock. They had the mask, but nobody wants the mask. Then I went to Five Below here in Downey. No uh, Chaos Theory captives. Uh, at least Southgate's uh, Walmart has some Jurassic World restock, uh, Chaos Theory restock. Uh, their Target, I mean, their uh, Five Below wasn't as well stocked, but that, that Walmart did. I keep wanting to say Target. I don't know why. I guess because we're heading towards there. Now I'm crossing my fingers that the Target in Norwalk has some things because I was a little disappointed by these two stores. And uh, we're going to wrap up this. The tour there and from there we're gonna head on home and open up the toys we got and check them up check them out up close and I can't talk today I don't know what's going on <laughs> last up on our tour we got Tarwick or Tarwick Target in Norwalk I don't know what's up with my speaking today I can't speak properly but let's head inside and see if they got any new chaos theory toys all right here we're coming up on the Jurassic stuff 
you can see some over there. But first off, let's look here. We got Allosaurus, that's super colossal. T-Rex, Giganotosaurus, Mosasaurus behind it, kind of hiding. Indominus, the camouflage one. On this side, we have ourselves the Nano Pack. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. People have been saying on my comments that they've been running into these figures and the uh, Darius, the uh, and the Adventure Pack, I think they're called. But I'm not seeing them, so I'm wondering, have they been really seen and just not here, or are people confused? I wish they're telling me about. I don't know. Hopefully, next time we come to the store, they'll restock. I'm gonna try to come tomorrow. Uh, if I can't, then I'll do Wednesday. But um, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> I never played with this mask before. It's like a Terminator, Indoraptor, kind of weird looking. <laughs> All right, but Chaos Theory related, not seeing much. So I'm guessing they haven't really restocked, I guess. Okay, so I think they did restock because on my way out, I found a lone Beckel Spinax in, out of like the toy area. I didn't film it, but um, yeah, there was a Beckel Spinax. Last time I came, I don't recall seeing that many Beckel Spinax. Oh yeah, they were. Yes, they were. So maybe they didn't restock. Hmm. Well, I'm going to come by tomorrow or Wednesday to see... If they're saying anything different, I was glad to be able to pick up some figure. We're going to take a closer look at them in a bit. And let's head home. It's warm. So we're back from the hunt. We got ourselves our toys. The Gallimimus, the Lystrosaurus, and the, what's it called? Guanlong. I don't know anything about the Guanlong. Never heard of it before. Lystrosaurus was something I've been wanting since I saw it listed. Um, I thought I had one, but I don't know where it is. I love that dinosaur. Is it a dinosaur? Yeah, it's a dinosaur, right? Yeah, it's a dinosaur. Anyways, and then I have the Gallimimus. I had to go back and get it because I was going through my collection and I swear, I thought I bought the Hammond Collection Gallimimus. And um, no, the only Gallimimus that I seem to have is the one that came with Darius. So I must have slept on purchasing the Gallimimus. And then when I realized I did not have, like, the one that came with Darius kind of stinks. It's like a, uh, what color was it? Was it dark green? It's like greenish, I think. It's in a running stance, but it's very hard to stand up. Let's see how this one stands up. Toss the packaging aside. Oh, we didn't look at the packaging. I was just so excited to get into this. So there we go. We got the Gallimimus. I will show off the packaging in a moment. You can move the mouth up and down. Arms up and down. It's a cool figure. I like it. Glad to have a Gallimimus in my collection. How come I have a Jurassic Park collection with no Gallimimus? Wow, that's so weird. Anyways, in the, on the back, you can see the Lysosaurus, the Apatosaurus, the Gallimimus, the Velociraptor, and the Guanlong? Oh, man, I'm going to have a hard time saying that. It just feels weird saying it. And the Jurassic World packaging. Sorry, I got so excited. I started ripping into this. Next up, we have the Guanlong and the Lystrosaurus. Let's take a look at the back. Now, the reason I really wanted the Lystrosaurus was, is it Lystro or Lystro? Lystro, Lystrosaurus? I think it might be Lystrosaurus. The reason I wanted the Lystrosaurus is because I love that scene in Jurassic World Dominion in Malta where the dino, oops, I hit the camera where the dinosaurs are fighting and stuff. Rainbow of course, fighting with Owen and they fall into the pit. I'm gonna show off the Lysosaurus in a bit. First, take a look at the Guanlong. Now the Guanlong is something I never heard of. Honestly, oh, I never showed this off on the Gallimimus. Here's the DNA thingy. Anyways, it's not something I heard of. I'm not exactly sure what is uh, the deal with the Guanlong, what's the, Diet, where did it come from, blah, blah. I don't know none of that. Again, I love dinosaurs. I love Jurassic, but to be honest, I'm more of a Jurassic guy than I'm a dinosaur guy. It just, <laughs> I used to be a Jurassic kid and a dinosaur kid when I was little. I knew, I knew all about dinosaurs. I could name the dinosaurs. I could tell you what era they're from, blah, blah. But then as I grew up, 
I got interested in other things and I started losing interest in dinosaurs and then I started gaining more interest in Jurassic which brought my interest in dinosaurs back. It's a whole mess of things. But what I want to see, how do you open the jaw? Can you open the jaw in this one? No, you can't open the jaw in this one. That's kind of that's kind of sucky because um yeah the guan uh, well, uh, the Lystrosaurus and Jurassic World Dominion is uh capable of some massive chomping. Anyways, here is the code. I love this one. This one is just so cute. He looks so derpy, and then um. All of a sudden, he becomes like this ferocious beast. <laughs> I don't know. He's a funny dinosaur. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's son. My mind's been a little scattered today. I'm not sure if it's a lack of sleep, if, if it's the heat, or it's my diet. I don't know, but today, I feel kind of scatterbrained. I have a hard time focusing. I'm going to try to slap this video together the best possible. Because, um, to be honest, I feel like I kind of screwed this video up. Um, by being all scatterbrained, but enough complaining about that. So thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I got another video coming up tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And give it a thumbs up if you like this video. That would be greatly appreciated. If you would like to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe. That will also be greatly appreciated. And I am your host, Jay Quinzel. And when you got to go, you got to go. Take care. It's very hot outside. Please, please, please take care. It's only going to get hotter, so please try to stay cool. All right, we got to go, we got to go. Catch you on the next one.